Seth Meyers was blown away by bonkers texts from the wife of a Supreme Court Justice to former President Donald Trump's team during his crusade to overturn the 2020 election. The House panel investigating the January 6, 2021, Capitol attack said Thursday it had requested an interview with Jimmy Thomas, wife of Clarence Thomas. That followed revelations Wednesday that the committee is in possession of emails between Ginny Thomas and attorney John Eastman, one of the key advisors in Trump's effort to overturn the election results. Previously revealed text messages show Ginny Thomas repeatedly contacted then White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows with false and outlandish claims about electoral fraud in November 2020, including one in which she claimed a group of co-conspirators including the Biden crime family, elected officials, social media censorship mongers and others were being arrested and detained and would soon be living in barges off Gitmo, Guantanamo Bay detention camp, to face military tribunals for sedition. To Myers, this sounded even crazier than my fellow CEO and notorious election conspiracy theorist Michael Lindell. Those texts make Michael Lindell sound like a level-headed businessman, Myers quipped on late night. I know those texts all sound insane to you, but it's important to remember. They really are fucking insane, he said. I think my favorite part is when she says the Biden crime family and ballot fraud co-conspirators will be living in barges of Gimo. Obviously, all this stuff is bonkers, but I am curious about one thing. Why would they live in a barge off Gitmo? Like why wouldn't they just be sent to Gitmo? Watch below on Late Night.